Yes, there is a new spirit in America. That's right. The spirit of a free people, united again in a common cause to stamp tyranny from the earth. That's right. Our very shores have been attacked. That's right. right. Your whole country is mobilizing for total war. Then there's something important you can do. You won't get a medal for doing it. Oh, that's all right. Your country needs you. Are you a patriotic American? Yes, sir. Eager to do your part? Yes, sir. Watch, watch it shoot! It may mean a sacrifice on your part. I'll do it anyway. But it will be a vital help to your country in this hour of need. Shall I tell you what it is? Yes, what is it? Tell me. Shall I? Tell me what it is. Your income tax. The American taxpayers, that would be you and me, we are funding terrorism. U.S. taxpayer dollars could conceivably be buying weapons for the Taliban. That's one of the problems that we were concerned with. That's conceivable. CIA working together with the Taliban? Impossible. We also have a history of kind of moving in and out of Pakistan. I mean, let's remember here... The people we are fighting today, we funded. What's the big hurry? Your country is at war. Your country needs taxes for guns. The U.S. is unintentionally funding the enemy in Afghanistan and undermining its own efforts to stabilize the country. Because of shakedowns and payoffs, millions of dollars in U.S. taxpayer money is winding up in the hands of the Taliban. Millions of dollars that are going to funding our enemies in Afghanistan for the bullets that are shot at our children may be coming straight, directly paid out from the U.S. military which means it's coming straight from you, the taxpayer. Taxes for ships, taxes for democracy, taxes to beat the Axis. U.S. tax dollars are going to pay off Taliban killers to keep them from bombing and shooting at U.S. convoys. Basically, the Pentagon pays the contractors to provide security. The contractors buy security by greasing the hands of the Taliban thugs. We're paying a private contractors who shouldn't be there to begin with to get our troops supplies and support. That's not fighting the war if you believe and support the war. It's financing the opposition. Texas to beat the Texas. That's the spirit. Yes, sir. Now, how about your income tax? Oh, boy. Give me that one. Signed into law, a billion-dollar program to change the hearts and minds of Taliban fighters through local projects and jobs. The goal, says the bill's author, is to get pro-Taliban fighters... Instead of fighting us, uh, to join with us by putting them on a payroll. In fact, U.S. military officials in Kabul estimate that at least 10% of the billions spent U.S. taxpayer dollars on Pentagon logistics contracts in Afghanistan go directly into the pockets of our enemies to bribe them not to attack our supply chains so that they can then take the money to engage in a battle over rocks and heroin with us in Afghanistan. The sooner you get your taxes in, the sooner they'll get to work. Or it's your taxes, my taxes, our taxes that run the factories. U.S. taxpayer dollars are being used to fund warlords and other people that are fueling corruption in that government. The report concludes U.S. tax dollars end up in insurgent hands through a trucking contract worth more than two billion dollars. To ensure safe passage of supplies to U.S. bases through dangerous areas, trucking companies make payments to local security firms with ties to the Taliban who control the roads. Convince the Taliban that while we move our war supplies from Bagram to the bases, that it's in the Taliban's best interest not to attack American convoys. How do we do that? We pay them millions of dollars. I think what we're saying is that this uh, goes uh, far beyond just 
uh, limited or occasional support. This is very significant levels of support being provided. So now what they're saying is we need to escalate this because the Taliban is getting stronger. But what we find out is that it's actually the Taliban are being fueled and funded by U.S. taxpayer dollars to not shoot at trucks. Not just that, Dylan. We have intelligence contractors, private companies working intelligence that are actually hiring Taliban guys to translate transmissions and giving them back to the U.S. I talked to one uh, person within the intelligence community who said they could be basically translating who wants to be a millionaire and we wouldn't know it. The single biggest reason for the strength of the Taliban is private, is the fact that we are sending foreign troops over there, right? So if you take foreign troops away, you actually weaken the Taliban. Now they've done all kinds of horrible things, but there's a strong argument to be made yeah. that it, we weren't strengthening them with our money and with our presence, they would fall apart. But reality is we really don't know. But what we do know, Ed, we cannot be sending over young men and women who are being given their lives. This is our fight. The fight for freedom. Freedom of speech. Of worship. Freedom from want and fear. Taxes will keep democracy on the march.